Hello everyone, this is Lana and welcome back to my channel. Ooh, it's been a long time since I posted my videos, but it was because I moved from one country to another one. Recently I'm not in Amman, I left it. It was a very nice experience, thank you for everything, but we are moving on. The other day I found out that the most viewed video on my channel is the one about Arab guys. If you didn't see it, the link is in the description box. Now guess, what's my audience gender? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious. So girls, I decided to follow that vibe and make you another video but telling you about Latin guys. Ooh, sounds intriguing. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to get notified about my new videos. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh yeah, and to all the Latin guys who are watching this video, please don't take it personal. It's only my humble, subjective point of view. So all the Latin guys, now it's your turn. Let's start with the looks. The feature that stands out is their perfectly shaped noses. And I had to say that because this is what impressed me a lot. By the way, perfect noses relate not only to men but to women as well. Well, the dark skin along with the dark hair goes without saying because, you know, it's a slavic girl's fetish. <laughs> In Chile there is a tradition to say hi with a kiss, even if you see the person for the first time. So it can become in handy, just imagine you are at the party and you like someone new and so be sure you will kiss at least on the cheek. How do they let you know that they like you? Ooh, they would do anything to draw your attention, but I would say it's like in a childish way because if you're sharing the same elevator, they will start to sing or dance or making some strange noises instead of just saying hi. <laughs> if you're walking down the street, he will scream some short nasty sentence that can make you blush. To me, these sentences, which are called piropos, uh, they sound ridiculously funny and they make me laugh. Mm, I will give you an example. Mm, te chuparia hasta la mascota, which in word for word translation means I would lick even your pet, which means you're hot. By the way, I think that on the streets um, uh, people don't get acquainted because Chileans are shy, like they, they don't approach women on the street to talk to her. But the place where they become brave and pushy are the discos. Yeah, let's throw some light on the discos. The other thing that impressed me a lot when I got uh, to one of the discos in Chile was that men actually dance there and they really enjoy the process, you know, because in my country uh, men dance only in three cases. First, they are drunk. Second, they are trying to pick up some girl. And third, uh, his girlfriend dragged him to the dance floor. So uh, that's very cute about Chilean guys that they really like dancing. Now something not very cute. At the disco, if they like you, they will try to grope you, to touch your hands, hair, back, I don't know, the, any part they can catch to draw your attention. Also invading your personal space, uh, coming real close. But uh, of course there are more decent guys that will invite you for a drink, for a dance, to talk and whatnot. And last but not least, a family is so important for letting guys. It's like number one priority and they gather a lot for asados like every week. So I just be ready for that and at least you will have something to do on the weekend. I hope you like this video, I'll be waiting thumbs up from you and also let me know in the comments if you would like to see the second part of this video where I will be asking my friends who still live in Chile about their opinion about letting guys. 
and see you in the next one bye bye